balsam poplar. Uh, the Latin name is Populus balsamifera, balsamifera, balsamifera. It's a dead language, so it doesn't really matter how you pronounce uh, Latin binomials. And balsam poplar is really amazing both internally and externally. It's one of my most favorite plants ever. Um, it's, uh, it's the bud of the leaves on a tree before the leaves open. Uh, it's covered in this really potent orange resin that bees actually gather to use to make propolis. And I never harvest uh, living leaf buds. Um, I only collect ground fall. Um, so oftentimes the leaves will be budding out. Um, it varies by climate, of course, but like in like February or like right before spring at the end of winter. And um, so I just like keep on the awareness of like wind storms and then if there is a windy day or night or anything I'll go looking for groundfall afterwards um, or if you were like growing a whole poplar tree where you lived and like felt comfortable harvesting it um, that would be one thing but in general I just say only collect groundfall um, it's a it's a precious one so I, I definitely regard it as like a um, really special one and try to use it sparingly um, it's a warming anti-inflammatory. It's really helpful for arthritic pain in particular. Uh, poplar is a circulatory stimulant. And uh, that's mostly for the, the external use. And I've really found a lot of pain relief. Um, so it's another really great one for closed wounds. Um, you can use it on open wounds too, but just uh, for sprains and strains and muscle aches, um, bumps and bruises. I really love it in formula with some others. And, um, and then internally, it is an expectorant, again, so it will pull mucus from lower in your lungs up and out and help you um, remove it from your lungs. It also is antibacterial, um, much like the propolis that use it, you know, the bees use it to make propolis, and propolis is really antibacterial um, because it's made from like tree resins, like balsam poplar buds, for example. And um, what else? Oh yeah, it's a, also a great preservative in salves, kind of like vitamin E. Um, it just helps them um, last longer at room temperature. So you can just put like a dash of balsam poplar in another infused oil, um, and that will help it last longer if you can't keep them all in your fridge. And we also talked about it in tick bite aftercare uh, as well last week. And the forms that I use are oil, salve, and tincture. Um, so balsam poplar is not one of the first aid herbs that I would use, you know, as with water as the solvent. It's not water soluble. It's it's truly a resin. Um, so we're going to be using oil or uh, alcohol as the. Thanks solvent. for watching. I'm Bruna Morshaw of Well Deep Remedies. Leave a comment below about what you learned from this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the caption for a link to sign up for my mailing list for more free educational content from me, a disabled femme clinical herbalist. The herbal first aid class handouts that accompany these videos are also linked in the caption and available for purchase. Visit welldeepremedies.com for more. Thank you and ta-ta for now. Bye!